Hi, my name is Michael Lursky. I'm with TradingMarketTechnicals.com and I'd like to share with you a short video on using Fibonacci retracements, projections, and extensions. Um, Fibonacci's work great in the financial uh, markets, but you'll notice um, the thing is, the tricky thing is, with there are the relationships are all over the place. Um, there's no shortage of Fibonacci relationships. What makes them particularly valuable, though, is when the when those relationships overlap or when they cluster. Um, for example, here in Ford, we're going to take the try to a nice rally. We want to get long on a, on a pullback. Where is a where is the real support? We're going to determine help determine that by taking a Fibonacci relationship from this low to this high to this common high. Then we're going to take a relationship, same measurement from this low to this same high, and again from this low to the high. And we're going to see where do those um, retracements overlap. This is the uh, from this low, we have a 382 three, here, we have a 50% here, and a 618 here. From this low, we have a 382 here, a 50% here, and a 618 here. From this low here, we have the re retracements of 382, 50%, 618, and this is 786. Where they cluster, you see where these lines I have highlighted, where they cluster is where the valuable support is and where the potential turning point is. In this case, basically, this was the cluster. <coughs> in, the, in the opposite direction, if we were to um, look for uh, getting short, we had a, a, a nice sell-off here. Um, we want to continue to get short, but we want to wait for a bounce. Where is the good resistance? So we have a, a common low here, and we're going to take measured um, uh, Fibonacci retracements from this high to this low, from this high to this low, and from this high to the common low. So these are the three significant bounces. We're going to take relationships, line them up, and see where they overlap. We see the, this is a 618 here. This, this zone, we have a 50% from, I'm sorry, from here, and we have a 382% from here. So it's these three Fibonacci retracements that turned out, this is creating a zone that turned out to be the resistance on that bounce. Extensions. How can you use Fibonacci relationships to determine price targets or extensions? Looks a little busy, but what we can do here is there is a 1.272. Um, we are looking for a price target. We this move has started. We're going to determine the price target based on previous down moves. So we're going to take a measure from here, this high to this low, and we're going to project 1.272 of this move off of this low gets us this level here. We're also going to take a measured move from this high to this low, and we're projecting that 1.272 was here, 1.618 was here, 261.8 is here. This was the cluster in which this rally off of this sell-off terminated and as we can see it was quite a reversal. Same thing in extension here. We, uh, we have a sell-off here. We want to know where to get short We have a, a, mo a measurement from, from this high to this low. 1.272 gets us this level here. Again, if we take 
a measured move from this high to this low, we get a, a measured move of 2618 here. This zone created the, the extent of the bounce, the extent of the, the rally to which, gets, which you would want to get short. We have, a, we have a, a market that's moving down. We have a last move. We have a, a, a rally, but we could have more of a rally. Well, where is that rally going to end? We take a measure move from here to here. 127.8. 1, 127.2, excuse me. Market reverses and continues the down move. These are the projections. Um, 1.272, 1.618, and 2.618. That's not right. Excuse me. We are using 618, 0.618, 1, 1.272, 1 1.618, and 2.618. So a uh, you take the measurement from here to here, take it off of there, and look where this low was. These are just these are potential targets. Doesn't mean that it's going to end there. Just potential targets. Would you have wanted to take some profit there? Maybe. That was 1.272. This level here is 1.618. This level here is 2. Point, I mean 2.618. So the market does react to these different. Uh, Fibonacci extensions, places to take profit, places to shore up your stop loss. We have a, a move, take a move from here to here, and we take it off of here. We find that move, the move slowed at the same distance between here and here. Off of this high, we got a low here, we got a pause. We also got the distance from here to here times 2.618 off of here is where the low in the market was and a, and a reversal. Again, it doesn't say that it, this doesn't mean that we definitely know it's going there. We know, we're only saying that it suggests that it might stop there. In, in this particular chart, we you can see that the relationships are all, are all over the place. So a move from the measured move from here to here off of this high, 1618 of that of this move off of here was this low. A measured move from here to here off of this high, we had a pause here at 100 percent and we had a pause here at 1.618. A measured move from here to here off of this high 2.618 was the low of the market and the reversal. Just a couple examples of how the, the Fibonacci relationships can use other than the straightforward retracement. Again, Michael Lursky from TradingMarketTechnicals.com. We can be reached on that website, or you can give us a call at 732-696-2355. Thank you.